What's going on guys? It's me, NJT, but you could call me Nick and that's right, we're back. And that's right, we aren't doing dang and run part, but we're doing dang and run part after this video. So we are that's right, this is gonna be the last final ever video of of um Injustice Gods Among Us because I've got it took me a long time, it took me about uh, good 18 hours, maybe 14, 18, fi like 15 or something hours to get everyone's character ending. Every single person in the game, I got all their character endings, even the DLC, which is down here. So what I did, guys, is you had to go into battles and you had to use and you had to beat every battle with 10 with each character. So today we're going to be showing off those endings. So let's get straight into it. Let's watch these endings. So yeah, Victory um, over Superman was only the beginning took me a while, so yeah. Rise to so dang and run for after this video, you know. World's oceans so yeah. The banner of Atlantis. Aquaman so what this what these the mean is ecology every and economy. Hold on, I'll explain after this. His influence did not escape the attention of the world's multinational corporations, who looked to end his reign. Oh, Villains crap. lured by the promise of big money to assassinate the king of Atlantis pursued him relentlessly. But Aquaman's popular. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. Whoops. Okay, guys. So what he these the endings world. are? The world is citizens rose up in anger against those who would quell Aquaman's influence. The threat abated. A groundswell of support began for a united Earth under Aquaman's command. So each of these endings, um, what what they are is when each one of these characters. Kills Superman, Superman at the end. So Aquaman killed advantage Superman advantage at the end in his land. character ending. So this is what happened. So now world's Ares killed Superman in this character ending. I think you get it. The war god famished. On the brink of death, Ares managed to imprison Brainiac V. He forced Brainiac to create a time loop beginning with the other dimensional hero's arrival and Damn. ending just before their victory. In this pocket of time, Ares flourished. Endless war was his to savor. Hmm, time loop. So it took me a long time to get all these endings. Superman had been a fool to believe Bane would willingly accept a subordinate role in the One Earth government. See, each time each character kills Superman. Way, true leadership could begin. Though they lacked intelligence, Bane found in Sinestro and Black Adam inspiring examples of ruthless, absolute authority. They reciprocated his regard for their talents. The three former villains regained control of the planet and formed a ruling triad that would be uninterrupted oh, until the next phase of Bane's plan. Mm, interesting, interesting. See, so yeah, I hope you guys get it now, cause you know you should get it. Mmm, Batman. Following the battle to liberate Earth, Batman learned that Luthor had bequeathed his massive fortune to Bruce Wayne. He now had the means to rebuild Gotham and Metropolis. Hmm. The city's residents, inspired by their hero's efforts, <laughs> like adopted wearing a Batman the mask. slogan "We are Batman." They contributed countless hours to their community's renovation wow. and crime prevention. The Batman of old would have stubbornly assumed these tasks alone. The post-One Earth Batman, having been rewarded for his trust in others, enjoyed his city's renewal. That does not look like Bruce Wayne at all. Benefactor. That looks nothing like Bruce Wayne. That looks like Ben Affleck Bruce Wayne, not Bruce Wayne Bruce Wayne. The defeat of wife. Superman taught Black Adam one thing. Most of Earth's denizens were too weak to adopt Kandak's visionary form of government. He returned to his homeland with a new plan. Combining their energies, Black Adam and his empress Isis created a mystical barrier yeah, around his wife, Kandak. Isis. There they reigned That's in a weird peace, name. their country an oasis in the wasteland of human civilization. A true oasis once Black Adam had destroyed all other life on Earth. Um, because Catwoman likes, um... Superman had paid for what he had done to Catwoman. 
feigning allegiance to his regime had cost Selina her beloved Batman oh, oh. and her best chance at happiness. Pride and anger kept her from attempting reconciliation with Bruce Wayne, but his inspiring reconstruction of Gotham and Metropolis fostered in her a desire to remain close to him. Until she was ready to approach him again, she did her part to keep Gotham streets clear of crime. Nascent underworld organizations had both the bat and the cat to fear. By the way, all these character endings, they're all going alphabetical order. So it goes A, B, C, After Superman's yeah, you get defeat, it. Cyborg led the assault on the Fortress of Solitude to flush out remnants of the High Counselor's regime. The Fortress was well defended, the battle intense. Cyborg was forced to use unfamiliar Kryptonian tools to make repairs to his damaged cybernetics. Enhanced with the alien technology, Cyborg found he could communicate with Superman's androids and order them to apprehend oh, whoa, the Superman androids, that's cool. With his army of super androids, whoa. Cyborg will bring justice to the world. With Superman's regime toppled, new governments formed to take its place. New governments meant new customers for Deathstroke, and business was booming. Soon there were more assassinations to carry out, revolutions to aid, and unrest to create than he could manage on his own. The One Earth regime's elite troopers, having committed atrocities oh, in Superman's name, had gone into hiding from a populace bent on revenge. Impossible for most to find, but not for Deathstroke. Recruiting these renegades, he formed the New Titans, the world's premier political assassins. Yeah, so they're only really short, guys. They're not too long. Flash had taken down the High Counselor, but the atrocities he had abetted during Superman's regime continued to haunt him. His shame eventually drove him into exile. Whether wishing to make further amends or simply unable Why? to stop himself, Flash continued to use his powers in the pursuit of justice. Rumors of a mysterious red streak of energy that would set oh. upon and incapacitate criminals circulated throughout Central City. While only some deduced his true name, most felt gratitude and affection for the new hero they called the Ghost. Hmm, the best I like that name. A Doomsday. Free of Superman's control, Doomsday eradicated the remaining metahumans. He then manipulated technology in the abandoned Fortress of Solitude to terraform the Earth. It soon resembled prehistoric Krypton. What? At last, it felt like home. Whoa. After a few years of exterminating humanity at his leisure, however, sure, the whole Doomsday humanity. needed a challenge. Having assimilated Superman's ability to Lobo. fly, he headed for a nearby space sector. He had heard rumors of an opponent worthy of his attention. A Cezanian mercenary with We're gonna see, um, violence. Lobo later on. Doomsday was eager Guys, we're gonna to see him later on in Lobo this video. In battle. Cause Lobo was a DLC character that came with, um, Ultimate Edition. So, this game was free on Steam, right? And, um, it was Ultimate Edition was After free on Steam, so Superman, that gave me, um, six DLC characters, which is good. This parallel Earth. His counterpart was one of the first heroes to fall in the battle against Superman. One of the first to object to the Man of Steel's new tactics and reasoning. That flames. Those f that fire does not look. Served as a reminder the fire looks really the fake. Fight oppression regardless of the odds. There, Green Arrow found that one citizen wasn't content to memorialize Oliver Queen in stone. With Green Arrow's training, a new archer, dressed in crimson, took up the Ooh. fallen hero's mantle. Speedy! Let That's speedy! Beware. The knight belongs to Red Arrow. Oh no, Red Arrow! Well, there's another Red... Like... There's another person that looks like that and... Mere Her days name's Speedy. after returning to his Earth, Green Lantern, in an event mirroring an his alien. attention to the core, witnessed the crash landing of an alien ship. 
Investigating the wreckage, he encountered the pilot who claimed to be Abin Sir. But this Abin Sir wore no power ring and referred to him in halting breaths as the Almighty One. Who's that? The Almighty Green Lantern one? tried to convince the alien of their past that Abin Sir oh, had named crap. Hal Jordan his successor as the Green Lantern of Sector 2814. But oh, the no, alien died from his wounds before Lantern oh. could learn more of him. Lantern Damn. left immediately for Oa. The Guardians were his only hope of solving this mystery. Mm, that one wasn't too interesting, to be honest. Ooh, some guy Chris Land. Harley Quinn. Ooh, it got married to the, the Joker. The defeat of Superman filled Harley with confidence. She knew what she was capable of and knew what she wanted. She traveled to the Broke visitor's earth and freed the Joker from prison. Returning to her world, they married in a ceremony that set Gotham ablaze. <gasps> At the reception, the cake-cutting ceremony took a gruesome turn. As Why? her husband playfully mashed her face into the cake, years of abuse took its toll. Oh, Something geez. in Harley snapped. She used the ceremonial knife to slash Joker's throat. Oh god, wow. Still wearing her wedding gown, Harley now resides permanently in Arkham Asylum. Jesus, that was... That that took a dark turn. Yeah, just because your husband stuffed your face in cake doesn't mean you have to his brainwashing, kill. Hawk Girl exacted revenge on the High Counselor for murdering her husband, Hawkman. She was nevertheless sent to prison for her role in the regime. Mm, One night, prison. she awoke hovering above her cot, glowing oh. with eldritch light. The hell? An instant later, she stood at the bottom of a shallow crater. There, she found the source of the light, a meteorite of pure nth metal. The hell is As that? she touched it, the meteorite sprung to life, encasing Whoa. her in nth metal. Oh, the that's new sick. Armor that looks made so Hawk cool. Girl invincible. What? Her first act? Vengeance against those who had helped Superman capture Hawkman. Oh, damn. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the Jaga! Though he had failed to elevate the Joker clan status, Joker was convinced a similar organization could be successful in his dimension. Ooh. Joker used a series Whoa, of devastating that looks actually terrorist really cool. acts to frighten the populace, then convinced the more gullible among them that he was the path to security. Actually, looks pretty scary the new and Joker really cool clan at the same time. soon had millions of members worldwide and Joker committed clan, regular wow. anti-government attacks, wreaking havoc on the global economy. Jeez, okay, you don't have to zoom in that far, my god. Wow, oh, that's cool. Killer Frost, ooh, she hot. Killer Frost reveled in her victory, but her overconfidence betrayed her. Seizing the opportunity, agents of Star Labs captured her. Their scientists harnessed her freezing power oh in no. order to fortify the world's polar ice caps. Oh but Star Labs no. underestimated Frost's abilities. Oh, good, she Turning escaped. on her captors, she froze their facility and eventually Jeez. the entire Western Hemisphere. Oh, what? The survivors How? now struggle to overthrow the self proclaimed Ice Queen. The hell do you. Jeez, okay. Mr. Luthor, Lex Luthor. We got a son. A win How against this world's Superman was greatly satisfying, but its aftermath would be sweeter still. Oh, that's not his son. Luthor had traveled to this dimension to convince its residents that he was their Luthor, who had miraculously survived the High Counselor's globally televised attack on him. Mm. Beloved before, the triumphant Luthor was now worshipped. He was elected Wh president they made of the United States. But what? Wow! Jeez, they made a Statue of Liberty for him. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, Nightwing. Oh, what's he did to the cyborg? Nightwing had beaten his former boss, Superman, in oh, single Oh, this is the combat. resume, Not Nightwing. even Batman had done that. His thirst for conflict grew. He began challenging anyone who crossed his path. Nightwing's belligerence eventually drew the attention oh, of well, Sinestro. Of course. His core was always in need of new recruits, and the young humans seemed able to inspire great fear. 
Sinestro had his suspicions confirmed when a yellow power ring found its way onto Nightwing's finger. Why? Why would you do that to Nightwing? Oh, Raven. Oh, jeez. Winning the battle with corrupt. Superman cost Raven dearly. The amount of demonic energy required overwhelmed her. After regaining consciousness, she looked around warily. Her immediate surroundings Trigon, were a hellish her ruin. Nearby stood her father, Trigon. Raven had somehow called him forth during her battle. Oh, great. Trigon thanked his daughter. He then summoned an army of demons and set out to destroy the rest of the planet. Jeez. Shazam! Billy Batson. Following the events oh, of the parallel dimension, Shazam's fellow heroes returned home. Why do they look so angry? Virus contracted during the transfer created in them acute mental instability. They turned on their fellow oh, crime fighters in a deranged fury. Alone and desperate, Shazam shared the power oh, no. of the word with his adopted brothers and sisters. Oh, their purity right. of heart so gave he... them courage. One, two, the army three, of Shazam four, five, incapacitated the force. Ooh, crap, sorry about that. That's like the movie! On the hero. Eventually, they took the place of the Justice League as primary defenders of Earth. That's like the movie where, um... Here, oh. Where's the no audio? Oh, there we go. Now we've got some audio, sorry about that. Um, okay, let's go. Sorry, but did my bad. When Superman's One Earth regime proved to be a failure similar to his on Korrigar, Sinestro retreated to deep space to ruminate on its demise. Fear had long seemed the most powerful of the emotions with which to bring order to the Sinestro universe. Call. Yet, it had not been enough. I mean, that was the Sinestro Core, the Yellow Sinestro Lantern Core. Sinestro hurled the might of the Sinestro Core against the life oh, of was right, the Sinestro Core, the White then, Power Battery. Ultimately victorious, Sinestro oh, now wielded the power of a White Lantern. Oh, no he became the one of the White Lanterns, him. right. The light of the Green Lantern Core would be the first he would extinguish. Mm, damn, must have become really powerful. Truman Grundy. The battle over, Grundy eluded capture and returned to his swamp to heal his wounds. During what regeneration, the hell Grundy found he could channel the elemental force of the red. All animal life would bend to his rule. Oh, wow. His increased power also allowed him to resurrect the long lost Grey Force. Now, instead of ruling Earth's creatures, he could simply destroy them. After defeating the world's heroes, Grundy turned Earth into his version of paradise. He now rules Whoa. over a grey and lifeless planet. Wow, why would he call that his... Jeez, Superman. Oh, can I... There we go. Though pleased with the outcome, Superman's battle with his duplicate left him troubled. If one Superman could go so far astray, why not another? Preventative measures were in order. After much discussion with his fellow Justice Leaguers, Superman ingested a remote-release kryptonite capsule. At any sign of instability, the kryptonite would permeate his body, killing him. Jeez. The question of who could trigger the device was solved democratically. Each week, a different Leaguer would take possession of why doesn't, the Why isn't Batman on that list? Only Don't I trust him? Batman was denied a shift. Why? Wait, why wasn't Batman- why was Batman denied? That's a little... rude. I wonder Wonder Woman, Woman returned home to find her dimension in ruins. Oh, God, Aware of Superman's despotic rule of the parallel dimension, the gods of Olympus vowed to preemptively eliminate the metahuman scourge from their world. Under the direction of Zeus, they hunted down and eliminated Zeus. nearly all super-powered mortals. All that remained to oppose them was Themyscira. Wonder Woman and her Amazons fought back against the Olympians with unrelenting courage. Despite heavy losses, Wonder Woman's forces ultimately prevailed. They took reign as the new Olympians, ushering oh, in an damn. age of peace. And wow, oh, sorry about that. 
So we guys, let's continue. My bad. Prosperity. Alright, these are the DLC characters now. Batgirl, Lobo, Zatanna, Zod, Martian Manhunter, and Scorpion. Those are all the DLC characters that came with Ultimate Edition. So if you get Ultimate Edition, you get these guys too. Not all heroes were destroyed by Superman. Some were actually created by him. A technology wizard, Barbara Gordon had eluded detection by One Earth Intelligence, feeding information to the insurgency Barbara under Gordon's, the code um, name Oracle. One of Batman's sidekicks. But after the regime's murder of her father, Gotham Police oh, Commissioner Jim Gordon. James Gordon, Crap. Barbara channeled her anger into a new alter ego. Sensing the right opportunity to strike, she attacked Superman directly. Oh, damn. By defeating the High Counselor, she had announced Batgirl to the world in impressive fashion. Wow. I don't know what was it echoing there. Could you guys hear that echo too? Because I could. Lobo. There was no shortage of vendettas during Superman's reign, and no this shortage the bounty of hunter. bounties for Lobo to collect. He became one of the richest men in the universe by assassinating those who ran afoul of the High Counselor. Lobo's already massive ego inflated along oh, with geez. his rising wealth. Lobo searched for an assignment Come. worthy of A his abilities. Of... With so many super-powered beings already dead at his hand, however, Come bounties were scarce. Lobo decided to use his wealth to create his own ultimate contract. He would kill the denizens of New Genesis, home of the New Gods. Damn, killing them all. Zatanna? The defeat of Superman was a relief to Zatanna. During the regime, she and Dr. <coughs> Fate had taken advantage of Superman's oh, vulnerability to magic and turned the Tower of Fate yeah, into she's a, a sanctuary for Superman's enemies. She had saved many lives, but years of subterfuge weighed heavily upon her. After the regime's downfall, Zatanna was instrumental in restraining metahumans during their trials. But when a jury recommended the death penalty for the more immutable defendants, Zatanna intervened. She took the prisoners to the Tower of Fate. There they would remain, incarcerated, but alive. Oh, wow. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Zod. Free of the Phantom Zone at last, Zod's oh, he first got out order of, the of Phantom business, zone. Superman's defeat, had Yeah, because he got stuck in the Phantom Zone, now, now he's getting out. Now his revenge could be fully realized. His time in the Phantom Zone had allowed Zod to learn its secrets. He had even learned from one of his fellow residents how to call forth small pockets of it at will. After introducing Superman to its mind-numbing emptiness, Zod claimed the High Counselorship and began to rebuild Earth in the image of mighty Krypton. Are right, two more go characters left, Martian Man Hunter. Banishing his friend and former teammate Superman to the Phantom Zone was difficult for Jean Jones, but necessary. As the One Earth regime had fallen, yeah, that's his name, Jean, John. Ever the outsider John. had chosen to watch from a distance to bide his time. He assumed the form of an Atlantean and served as royal archivist. Why would he do that? Aquaman little suspected that his trusted subject's uncanny ability to gather news of the surface world was the result of telepathic powers. When Jean learned that heroes from a parallel dimension were aiding Batman's insurgency, he assisted as well, leading rescue operations Ooh. in Metropolis and Gotham after Superman's rampage. In the post-regime era, the Martian Manhunter continued to serve his adopted world, gathering the next generation of heroes to form a new Justice League. Oh, wow. Oh, guys, final character ending! That's it! Scorpion. He's from Mortal Kombat. The fool in the red cape had been dealt with. Now Scorpion would learn how he came to this place. Heretofore, only the sorcerer Quan Chi, or the fallen elder god Shinnok, could have summoned him. Scorpion's answers appeared in the form of Trigon, who accused That's... Scorpion of deserting Trigon's demon army, and stealing from him the glory of besting the High Counselor. 
The two faced each other in a titanic struggle. Scorpion emerged the victor and assumed control of Trigon's invasion force. Oh, wow. Soon this strange new land would be his to rule. Yeah, Scorpion's from Mortal Kombat and he somehow made his way into this game, so I don't know how, but he just did. So, guys, that's it. That is, um, Injustice Gods Among Us, and, um, that's, that's the end, um, so yeah, we got all the character endings, so yeah, please do like, guys, and subscribe. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video, and also, we're going to be doing Dang and Run part after this video, so yeah, go check that out too. So please do like, guys, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.